We're about to use quite possibly the wildest team you've ever seen. And uh, yeah, this is your third upload in a row, my guys. How? But uh, yeah, I am. I was watching this interesting video today it's by this guy. Don't know his name. That was the point, right? He, uh, one of the videos he was making, he's a, a e commerce e-commerce business owner making about you know, they were doing around 10 to 12 million a small team seems like um, really cool guys based out in UK and they were just chilling and you know the video was about and by the way this has electric touring value and I don't know if I said that yet but brace yourselves but uh, eh and see what happens i'm not even sure what these people run uh, volcano is not a great matchup for me sacrificial lead is that worth it can i play around this in a way where it wouldn't need to be that i could let me actually think about this how i'm gonna win this game before i get into this Probably sweep of rocks plus my cell at gold angle. That's another wild thing that's on this team. Uh, my issue is that I'll take one. Is it worth that go raging bolt? I actually get more for my money here. I'm going to use up the booster energy. Oh, okay. Slow King Galar is coming. I don't know even know what these things do. I mean, not the Slow King Galar, but like how they stop beasts like these. Oh shoot, Chili Reception into Mama. But if I Terra Fairy, you die. I wonder if there's an alternative method. Terra Fairy. But I need to Terra. Um, Terra and Goldengo would be useful. I mean, alternatively, this memo is just gonna wax me. Because removing memo forces in gonna hurt. Unless it's like a soul fist. He crit me there. This is fucking annoying. But I crit his sloking, so I'm sure that's annoying for him as well. But the crit, I wanna say it didn't matter, but it wasn't the biggest deal in the world. Uh, what I wanna do here is actually go hard, um, um, hard Dango and the Dragonite. But what's gonna happen is that he's gonna Isaac crash. I spin and then gets the rocks. Fair enough. The ice sharded. Actually, Isaac crash. I don't know why I sharded there. I'm pretty sure he outsped me. Uh. So let's think this through, then I'll get back to that story. It's hard to tell these stories and um, play efficiently at the same time, but I'm gonna get good at both. You know how people, some people are natural storytellers. Like I'm a natural scientist in terms of how my brain works. So I always look for, hello malware bites. I always look for the first principle in every situation. So my brain really struggles remembering stories. Like I'll go to the principle within all stories. Um, so that's something I always um, had a bit of a challenge with. Uh, so it goes to Sinister, which is fine. It gives me both rock. I mean, it would have been nice to have both. Uh, you see him? Watch, I got you. I figured. Right, I'm special. Hmm. A couple ways we could go about Steel Beam would do probably a lot. This thing doesn't even get recover. This is actually fine. Um. Because that position is my dark rifle. So yeah, this it only gets recovery through secondary moves. Because right now my valiant terrain boosted is dangerous. So what we want to do here, let's think. What can you guard against? Um, probably this the most, and then um, from there. I think this gets dark right must get plot. So maybe nasty plot is a set. 
and that's something you should be concerned about so he's not going to just sack my Masoyan he goes hard Corvi uh, is Corvi the counter? apparently not unless this is like Terra fighting or some Terra fairy I'm going to get this defog off Terra fighting I guessed that and it actually was Terra fighting does he get the defog off? body presses okay so what move don't I want to reveal? Sludge Bomb is obvious. So I get the Corby, which is great. And the Mammo is dead. And Volcano is going to have to take these repeated hits. And now he has nothing to switch into Dark Pulse. So he's probably going to go to the Roaring Moon. Uh, but I don't know why I wouldn't just go Hard Moon first. Well, he wants the HP back because he wants to not get Valianted. Uh, but if the Ice Beam should do at least 67. How do you? And Roy Moon, you're bulky. <laughs> but he's super um, Dragonite susceptible now. Unfortunately, I have to hit Hurricane for it to matter. But I do have a Ghost type in the wig in the back that doesn't care and it outspeeds his entire team. So there's a nasty plot and Gold Angle wins. But um, I miss this, it's annoying. But I have a Gold Angle. I do miss, but that's okay, I can Hurricane again. I just realized I don't have, um, oh wow, Satan died. I just realized I don't have Dragonets. Do I have Dragonets? I have to pay attention to the side. Oh, Dragonets is what I have. I don't have Roost. That's what I was thinking. Um, the Bolt of the Raging. I wonder if we can do anything to Golden Go. Oh, I forgot Golden Goes. Man, it's crazy how my brain is recharging on all this because. Like even the, the part of me was like, oh right, <laughs> doesn't get paralyzed. Um, the swine comes in here. The sw okay, now does it take rock? So it could be scarfed. Possible. Possibility. And so we we'll let him take that, and then it's over. He's gonna go hard, bloking here, because. Uh, he saw Hurricane last time, so. Plus, if he's Choice Scarf, Choice Lock, man. He'll see he doesn't want to be inverse of the D Knight. But if I'm a Dark Dragon, it's a D Knight. And he knows his faith is sealed, so. But his faith is already sealed once I hit that quick. But uh, yeah, so the guy had this urge to make content because he was doing well in the e commerce space for quite some time. If you were Scar. I guess you don't technically have to be Scar to outspeed my dragon but um he was doing really well and so he had a similar sort of experience oh, obviously i'm not doing 10 million yet but he had a similar enough experience where uh where he feel, felt like he had things to share but procrastinated now you may be like well jam you do that with um the channel all the time but it's not about the thing the things that i share are the things that uh i've been sharing but there are things that i have not been sharing that are useful that i have tried to sprinkle in and people somewhat have picked up on right you know i get a lot of messages and they're like yo and it'll be about something completely unrelated to mods you mean i've helped people with you know made poor decisions when they were teenagers that messed up their life that they had to fix their uh, situation with their family um, from studying, not being able to focus and studying uh, several people. Shout out to my guys in India. I've, I've had several people from India in particular with that issue. Um, I know the exams are real big there, uh, especially I think around 17, 18. And so help several people lock in so that they could get into good schools with that. Uh, you know, the women stuff, as you know, random, like, fitness stuff. Like, but basically, before even making this known, I'd get the messages about this, and I'd always say to them, like, well, how did you know I could help you with this? I've never advertised this. I've never let it be known. And then, you know, thing, the, the whole theme that we've been discussing the past couple of days, which is like, fuck, fuck not letting it be known, you know? Um, no more. Rillaboom would be a bit 
bitch. Samurai would be a bitch. Raging Bolt is really good versus. Okay. I'm not gonna. Uh, Elite Samurai would be a pain in the ass. Komoro would be a pain in the ass too. Elite Samurai versus Treads is a pain in the ass. Hmm. So I actually opted for the Rillaboom. We'll see what comes of this. Life Orb Moonblast. I think he has maybe some terrain. Oh yeah, shout outs to Guardian Art. Uh, this is an Academy, Academy very own, came in. Uh, his results just came in. He didn't expect to beat anybody, especially after only a year of heavy lifting. Being a guy in California, I wasn't really thinking about who I would and who I wouldn't be, honestly. That wasn't the mindset going into it, I mean. Yeah, that's what's up, because he, he uh, oh damn. But, but yeah, he, uh, Sorry about that loss. I wasn't even paying attention to the time. So, so, uh, invested into the story. Um, and let me see what I got. I want to get to 1700 in the slide. Stop fooling around, Jamster. Especially that game. I wanted to play that game out. It was an interesting game. Um, okay. If Ice Beam is relevant enough of a move to have on Dark Rai. From a coverage standpoint, I'm not sure to where I take Ice Beam off for Nasty Plot or something. This was expert built initially. Or take this boss I don't know. Because I've been out the game for so long, it's not as easy for me to put together. The, my brain is not formulating the game plans in the way it used to. So when I see these teams, I'm like, uh. But he's super Dragon Eye weak, super Raging Bolt weak. I'm guessing the Grim Snarl is the lead. Yeah, we seal beam first because he'll he'll dual screens, but we want to get the first hit off, especially if, exactly, especially if he come on. Can't be serious. I was gonna say, especially if he goes to reflect first, assuming that's what I was going for. So, what would be the next beast that would come in on this? I wonder if this has that one move that switches people out parting shot, right? Even to that. Maybe Thunder Wave? It's just hard to tell what the next move is. I'm trying to stall out the screens. Uh, because he died to rocks coming back in. It goes hard, Cole. Excellent. Or Cole forces him to... Um, to knock out my Golden Go. I might not even die. But it also neuters his son. Cause it's gonna take ah it's right above right above um right above the rocks damage range i got my salak berry but i could recover on his gifts no i just can't risk him um i just can't risk him um knocking out my golden gun and i can't stop his million what was he gonna spin on it be tall Probably could have recovered there. But that's kind of besides the point. He did him to be the 6% more. 6% more. But we'll take what we can get. Because Dragonite is a looming threat. He wants that speed boost. Yeah, he's shook. He is shook. 
we can have this gold angle i'm pretty sure i don't the gold angle literally loses to everything else the only reason he went to moth burst is because he needs that speed boost Art, art, dry fire dance. One turn I reflect left. Dina is really good. I actually didn't want to go night first. Is it worth going night first? I mean, if I he has enough sun turns, so speed isn't going anywhere. I have to get rid of this because of the sun turns he has. his reflect is gone and my extreme speeds are lit uh and the the raging bolt is is looming what what is this flash fire weak armor piece of weak armor stuff let's say i were to i mean i just showed earthquake so or maybe poltergeist kills me what is this i feel like this is gonna have some kind of terror type that i'm not aware of I've seen grass way back in the day. That was 10 months ago. So if it was, let's say it was grass and he like a bitter bladed or something. Well, if you were to terrestrialize, then unless poltergeist kills me from 74. Unturns. Endure. Interesting. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to endure again. But, I mean, I had this focus sash and the, um, the, the, this thing smooth. You know what I'm talking about? I wasn't overly concerned about that. So special attack boost. Um, Thing is, it actually doesn't have to be specs, but the last turn of sun would mean that um, my raging bolt, terra fairy sweeps, just I just teams right, and then remember the keys to hold positions that cannot be defended. So right here, this is where you make the play. So I could knock him out just straight up here, but he's gonna sack his torpedo obviously, and come back for the speed boost. But we're gonna take advantage of that and go for that electric terrain. Look out, look at that. That was the spiciest move in the game. Bro, it's like, yo, what just happened? What just happened? Thunderbolt, I'm gonna reveal it for the flex sake. Wow. Immaculate. So if it's not speed boosting Roaring Moon, like I see how speed him. Yeah, it's a type boosting. Unless it's uh if he is yeah it'll be fine i was gonna say terror ground is that what they're running they're gonna earthquake near so i'm gonna dragon this very nice dragon this makes sense uh i mean terror ground makes sense maybe for raging bolt or something i don't know but i'm not concerned about it as i have literally the entire solution i have the entire squad coming through just beating people down don't even need to terrestrialize to knock him out and then he has to lock himself into to the uh dude it doesn't, it doesn't really matter just actually extreme speed here and uh and he has to lock himself into probably draco meter if he draco locks then the, the um, raging bolt would destroy him so he hydro steams rightfully so and it wasn't enough but he's probably spexed or maybe not specs, but he just didn't want a Draco Meteor. Because if he Draco's there, he's done. But we managed to pull off a victory with this team. That electric terrain moment was everything, though. It's really fun relearning um, all of this stuff because it's like. But yeah, that guy was talking about authenticity and just how in starting the, the YouTube journey and sharing all the things. Uh, he felt himself being consumed by, you know, when you're, when you have something to say, we as humans have the tendency to feel like the thing we're saying is a game changer and it is, but I think the thing about it is it's, it is a game changer for the right person, but it always feels like it's a game changer for everybody. 
and it's like if you're a fitness professional and you're saying hey you know exercise more it's really hard to understand that like how can that not be for everybody everybody should listen to my message right and you know i'm giving a very generic example or drink more water um but just the way things are structured this thing called life uh is just actually for a specific said that voice you have is for a particular group of people um and for me i know that's just a very difficult concept to wrap my head around because i'm like nah everybody needs this game but they don't um because otherwise everybody would be the same person and if everybody listened or every every voice was on if only one voice was destined to be for the entire planet then um what would be the point of the other however many billion of you right and there are only so many things you can be uh, the 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 expert on or whatever that looks like and so even if different people are saying the same thing right walk more eat more broccoli and chicken as far as the fitness niche um everybody has their separate expression of that very thing and so with the mons thing it's it's been a challenge over the years not to to not lose myself in the getting the right thumbnail because you know or getting the right title or the the all the tactics that are you know going along with the algorithm it's it's it's, it's one hell of a game um not losing yourself in the tactics in the need for exposure and because you know, what's the point of a message that nobody ever hears right the raging bolt is so good here almost too good almost not right and the race huh? you know what's really good to value if i can kill this mirror scrub whirlpool i expect that i expect it to get away okay this didn't work well it worked but it didn't work the way i wanted it to work because now Shreds can rapid spin get rid of whirlpool. Yeah, it can actually, but I'll just get trapped again. Let's try though. Actually, let's rapid spin on the out chance he he goes for. Ah, I could have missed. So if I were to. Calm mind. Or to go valiant and rain. This is the first turn I'd probably protect to see what I'd do. What? This goober went for flip turn. Why would you ever do that? That's fine though. Uh, my balance is actually really good. But knocking this Slow King's item off, my Raging Bolt is probably better. Is what was going to happen here? Actually, didn't do it that much. He's going to lose a mine here. Sludge Wave, huh? I'm not playing this particular game as cleanly as I could have. This puts him in a position where he's like, do you go for. Electric Terrain boosted Thunderbolt with. The special attack boost. What do you go for? You opt for the yeah. I, I was trying to bait him to stay. And now this thing is a problem. Just brute forcely. Like every time I click T bolt, so my mind's down. Um. Guessing I know this thing learns triple axle now. Uh. U turns. A Terra Fairy is actually really key. I probably should um I can calm mind to the point where I can knock this out. Thunderbolt would have killed anything that he's about to switch into. Actually maybe it'll still Dragon Pulse might still 
Uh, it's not knocking out overpower. Yeah. I know these run up. Um, what's it called sometimes? No, I still thunderclack. I think he'll attack me. Uh, I know these run encore now. Okay. I'm not overly concerned about this because I can calm mine, but. He has a lot of incentive to never to once I hit two thunderclaps. If he didn't do it once I hit three, I would have just switched. But as I said, Raging Bolt, the the Valiant trade off plus the Electric Terrain boost was versus his style of team so valuable that I'm like you know it might be worth that trade. Uh, Raging Bolt is just that good. I'm not sure what he'd opt for here. It'd be pretty foolish to go for for um for change in this situation. Oh wow, he survived. Is this Blaze boosted? Oh, that's a big miss there. That's a serious miss. Good court change here. Just fine. Thing is, you can't court change again, so it puts you in a weird spot. Or you can core change again and then you'll play the thunderclap game. But I still have Thunderbolt for your Molo and your Doza. Which is the big issue and I can calm mine. So Skarada comes in. Black, so. Okay. So he only gets one which seals the deal. Yeah. Raging Bolt, 6 O's. Electric Terrain plus Raging Bolt plus the lowering of the Slow King. Yeah, that's pretty frustrating, bro. I gotta admit. The what missed again? The Pyroball miss was pretty big. Um, I, I would have won regardless, but that was a pretty big miss. I wouldn't. My Raging Bolt wouldn't have died. I think, especially if he's um, Libro. I don't think the Terra Fire boost. The uh, I remember doing that several times in the past and um, Pyroball not getting boosted, which is very disappointing because of the labor effect. But if it's, if it's a, if it's a, um, <laughs> Mons, oh, it's, it does the same thing to everybody. But I get it, bro. I get it. Very frustrating. It was very frustrating to go through a game feel like you were robbed. This guy is using a team that I uploaded with yesterday, so this might be a fellow subscriber. Shout out to my boy Ghoulish Champ. Um, Ghoulish Champ. But yeah, th that dance between authenticity and um, you know doing the best thing is right. It's the same dance between. Um, really everything right doing uh business in a way that just in any venture right in a way that where the customer is numero uno right and you know whatever marketing tactics or sales um understandings and trainings that you have to undergo um i know a lot of my audience are, are engineers and you know computer science uh, heavy guys or something in relation to math. It's like, okay, Jam, um, I think it's time to take a risk and double down on who you are versus um, double down on who you are versus uh, being a diluted version of who you are for the sake of not losing. It'd be really useful to rocks here. Actually, I, I know this Kyurem set anywhere. He can't knock me out. What am I doing? Unless he changed it. Because what I don't want to do is have him go Ogre Pond. Uh, on the Steel Beam, I lose half my health and get no rocks. Whereas if he goes Ogre Pond on the rocks turn, I get a lot more value or keep a lot more value. I should say. Yeah, excellent. They got greedy there. It's great. Um... I murked the Kyurem. 
I'm guessing maybe steel beam is just not common enough to wear, or maybe he's just never encountered that situation before to where he's like, yo. But this play roughing ogre pawn is no jokester, I tell ya. I tells ya. Uh, what I could do, couple options here. I could just take damage on the ogre pawn and go crazy with the dark right? Um, or the Valiant. The Dragon, I don't remember being a big issue for this team, but he's Air Balloon, Gambino. How do I deal with Gambino? Raging Bolt, Valiant, Sash Rai. I think, you know, even though it's only going to be 27%, this is a better trade off. Oh, he changed it to Trailblaze. Interesting. That's useful to know. I say probably Swords Dance Trailblaze. Which means. Raging Bolt guarantees me a KO here. Well, yeah, it's faster than his. I'd have to take a player of. What's the roll on Ogre Pond taking? Taking a life orb, um, life orb, um, moon blast, ogre pond, Get water, ogre pond, water. Get my time, so I don't lose again. Ogre pond. I don't remember. If, I think cornerstone has the same stats as. Rest of them, Wellspring, all oh, you swords dance. Moonblast, uh, 66 to 77. So we can go a Valiant here. Not ideal, because the Glamora, but he may leave it in because of the life orb. And he's like, yo. No, oh, no smoke from that guy. Uh, so here comes the rocks. Because he's max but if it'd be a foolish decision to not just destroy him. He gets his rocks, which is a little annoying because I have my um, Sash Darkrai, which would have preferred keep it Sash. Um, should stay in here because it's too dangerous to risk the Gambino here. Um, again, with my Sash on the D Knight and the Raging Bull's booster energy. I think. Terrifier. The Shadow Balling Valiant. To hear Dark Rise, the best play. It covers everything. Plus, please hit. Plus, um, I think I died a Sucker Punch anyway. Maybe I should have went where it's straight. Um, Raging Bolt. The best play is probably the Ice Beam to get him off his. But yeah, if I hit the Focus Blast, I get everything. It actually probably wasn't the best play in hindsight because I'd have to take a two for one if I ice beamed and let him kill me. Um, let's say he were to. Well, he could um, encore me here. He could Terror Ghost encore me. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. And I just Terra Fairy make it rain. If you were to Terra Ghost, it'd be pretty shitty for me. If you were to just Ghost straight up. Yeah, let's Terra make it rain. Um, unless he changed the sets. I mean, he changed the Ogre Pond, so it's hard to say what, what else is what, you know. Um, but from a risk versus reward standpoint, I think Mickey Rain says Terra Dark. Okay, so he knocks off. The, the fact that he changed into something that I can E speed is great. And Mickey Rain should one shot, right? And so now I can just Shadow Ball the Deoxys. Psycho Boost missing there is actually a blessing for him, even though it wouldn't have made a difference. 
because you know I have a dragon eye with e speed. But I had the advantage because I knew his team. Or allegedly knew his team. I mean it's the same sets. So Oh, we're almost there. One more game and we're back into the 17 of the hundreds. I know. Uh yesterday, right before we got there, uh you know, luck was not on our side. But you know, it is what it is. Let's see what we can do today. Today's a fresh day. Today's a fresh day. But yeah, man, it's uh it's it's relearning. It's relearning why people watch me, what people want. Um, I know when I, I had left, you know, a lot of messages were saying like, I miss the more analytical style of content. There's really no one out there. Though, uh, I know a guy named uh, Pink Across, saw him doing some streams and such. So, you know, he's stepping up in the education space. And, uh, you know, that's great to see great to see um i know i don't think he does lives but no so that's niche is no longer nobody's doing it um but yeah it's risky business it's risky business because i uh it takes time right it takes a precious time and um what is life if nothing more than figuring out what the hell you should do with it right what's worth spending the life energy on that's the game we're all playing, I suppose. This worth my time? Uh, Cinderace probably eats. Another raging boltable team. But I mean, I guess he has these two beasts. Uh, Old and global, for sure. Mm, yeah, so what we're doing here is I mean he could fear me being CC um, I really don't want to not fucking moon blast him here and have him go sloking and I get no value and reveal my item So I think for some reason my gut instinct Is saying that from his standpoint if I'm SD valiant or if I'm banded valiant he has too much to lose if I go for knockoff straight on sloking. Yeah, he does go straight sloking. He's a life form moon blast. If he straight stays into not me out, it's it's not great because the value was really important. But he loses. He stands a lot to lose if he attacks me and I switch. Okay, black sludge. So he has the life orb. Because I knocked off the black sludge, I lost my life orb, but he's now a life orb gloking, which is blessed. So in that case, knockoff is no drawback. I could electric turn, but I don't need the speed boost. Uh Corviknight lost his helmet. So Corviknight would die, which would open up my Dragonite a little bit. Is Corviknight relevant enough? In comparison to Valiant, no. But he just needed something to reposition in. For his Glow King to come in. Um, yeah. But I figured. And now he needs... Like, the knockoff did 53, so he's gonna die if he's not careful. Um. Probably goes back to Corviknight, but that's a little obvious. I'd go to, um... I'd go to Cinderace. He knows I have Thunderbolt. So it's fairly high risk um, to stay in, but he have Ray Bird. Okay. All right, now I can knock here. He roost. He took nothing from that. I wonder if they run Ray Bird anymore. If he's U-turn, I have a lot to lose this turn. But since he's Max Spadef, uh, Darkrai be Nasty Plow would have been so blessed. Thunderbolt does 55. I think that's Max Pedo. Let's find out if he has the... Um, gonna be a roll. Oh, he kills me. 
Icebeam, Icebeam, like, come on. We just talked about this. We literally just talked about the fact that right as we were about to break through, the hex was. Ah, oh, that's frustrating. That changed so much. I had all the leverages next turn. I had all the leverage next turn. So I could Thunderbolt straight up if he tingled, which is the only thing that. Nah. Now my I'm a man down undeservedly. And so he can potentially chilly reception. He could get his health back. Um, okay. Well, it is what it is. We'll figure it out. Ugh. Frustrating. Okay. Uh, Raging Bolt is super good. I think we'll be down. Alright. Corviknight is the other mon. Dang, that's frustrating. That is incredibly frustrating. One would assume the Tinglu would. I think these things are left over still, right? Uh, could Terra this? If I keep Raging Bolt and it's typing it is now, that's actually not that big a deal. Uh, so we're in a nasty plot first. He expected me to switch. That's perfect. But now he's going to go to um, back to Tinglu. You make it rain. Perfect. It is lefties. Beating down this Tinglu is a big deal. They're a fairy. My Salak is gonna actually smoke him. Way back. Wonder if that's his only move. If it is, we're gonna find out. So I plot again. Salak is actually gonna be super clutch here. Let's see. Earthquake. Mm. Nasty plot again. Holy shot of ball this turn into letting him sell at me down. Yeah. Cover. This is clutch. Look at the sell at Golden Go Go. That's funny as hell. <laughs> this is actually hilarious. <laughs> this is actually quite funny. Especially because he can't phase me. The er, the recovery has probably sunk his heart just now, truth be told to you. The recover definitely sunk his heart just now. Oh wow, big crit, big crit. I'm guessing it's... The Garganical must be a Terra type that can take this, but Terra Water is just still gonna hurt though. 67, yeah. Fuck here. Protect. Annoying. Ah. Uh, make your range is 67. I still want it gone. Cloaking is gone. Still has to lose a mine. Uh, I mean, he has to go for recovery here. Uh, probably going for, yeah. So I'll keep the old Dango gone. Let's see how much um, earthquake he has E2. Yeah, how much Shadow Ball does. 29, that's just doing nothing. Okay. He got away. But my, um, we forced the Terra and the uh raging bolt is is eating good I'm good now we'll keep the terra fairy um, at the highest amount of health possible give up the valiant and then just start uh, i think this should die unless there's some oh the garg is gonna die he should definitely leave this in he can't risk me calm mining but the Hydrapple, I'm thinking like, is there anything that I'm not aware of that would prevent this from just getting bodied right now? Okay, I know. 
bodies hit the floor. All right, so um, again, we're figuring this thing out as we go. I keep emphasizing that, but um, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed longer than I expected, but that's what she said. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hit the like button down below. Peace.